this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video we're going to learn how to make it seem like your photo is torn in half. So let's have a look here. Okay, what we want to do is first decide how we want to tear this photo up. And what I'd like to do is just tear it up right here diagonally through the photo, through the handshake here. So what we need to do is just click and drag it around unevenly to make it seem like it was torn. And uh, you can go uh, as crazy or as subtle as you want. It kind of depends how you want the, the, the way that it was torn. There we are. And now we're going to select the rest of the image we want to keep. Now, if you make some mistakes like I am right now, not a problem. You can just get to the edge here, and then we can add to our selection if you make any mistakes here by clicking and dragging around to make sure that you got the whole area selected. So you got the whole image area here that you want to keep. Now what you want to do is uh, enter a quick mask mode here, go into filter, brush strokes, and splatter. And with splatter, what we want to do here is create that jaggedy edge torn effect. And let me just show you here that if we remove the smoothness here, we get too much of a, of a splatter really, and we want to make it a, a little bit uh, more subtle. So we want to increase that smoothness to something over 10. So we want a smoothness between 10 to 15. I'm actually going to go with a smoothness here of of 14. That looks pretty torn up. We're going to go ahead and click OK. And now we're going to add exit our uh, layer mask uh, mode here, quick mask mode. So there we are. By exiting it, we are back into our selection. Now I can double click our layer mask, our layer, click OK to transform it into a regular layer, and then we're going to add a layer mask. And by doing that, we've removed the part of the image that's supposed to be torn off. Now we can go ahead and add a layer bring it down to the bottom and now it's your choice if you want to have your image being displayed as being torn uh, and then there's a white sheet of paper behind it or a blank one so that is either alt or control backspace alt backspace or control backspace for which one you decide to go for I'm gonna go with a black one here make it seem like the photo was torn and that there's uh, either a black sheet or there's nothing uh, behind that so there you are that's how to tear a paper if you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.